hello out there welcome to this tutorial it's an application of integral calculus in this video we'll be looking at trapezium rule the trapezium or trapezoidal rule is used to find the approximate value of an integral the integral f of x the x from x1 to xn is evaluated by finding f of x1 f of x2 f of x3 up till f of xn minus 1 and finally f of xn so that integral of f of x dx from x1 to xn is h over 2 into f of x1 plus f of xn then plus 2 into the remaining f of x2 f of x3 up till f of xn minus 1 where h is x2 minus x1 so um, we'll now look at solving some problems on trapezium rule problem 1 use the trapezium rule with ordinates x is equal to 1 two three four five six and seven calculate the approximate value of integral of 3x dx all over x squared plus one from one to seven um, in the solution to this problem we are going to create a table of values so where the first row is the row for x and the values of x are one two three four five six and uh, seven then we have three x at the numerator here we bring the three x i have x squared plus one as the denominator i have x squared plus one then f of x so three x that's three times one three three times two six three times three nine three times four twelve three times five fifteen 3 times 6, 18, and 3 times 7, 21. Then x squared plus 1. 1 plus 1 gives 2. 4 plus 1 gives 5. 9 plus 1 gives 10. 16 plus 1 gives 17. 25 plus 1 gives 26. 36 plus 1 gives 37. And 49 plus 1 gives 50. Now what we do here is numerator divide by the denominator 3 divide by 2 gives 1.5 6 divide by 5 gives 1.2 9 divide by 10 gives 0 0.5 12 divide by 17 gives 0 0.706 and 15 divide by 26 gives 0 0.577 18 divide by 37 gives 0 0.486 and 21 divided by 50 gives 0.42 now we bring in the formula for the evaluation of this uh, integral now we need to find h since we've gotten f of x1 xn up till xn minus 1 from the table so h is x2 minus x1 so we have h equal to x2 here is 2 minus 1 and that gives one so we now substitute all this into this formula so that h which is one we now have it as one over two into f of x one and xn that is the first value and the last value of f of x which is a 1.5 plus 0.42 so we've gotten this and this now this is plus 2 into uh, whatever is remaining between the first value and the last value the values in purple so we have it as f of x2 1.2 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.706 plus 0 0.577 plus 0 0.486 and uh, we close the bracket so we simplify the terms with blue and the terms in purple so we have it as half that's 1.5 plus 0 0.42 gives 1.92 and we have to add all these multiply by 2 that gives 7.738 
so we add this and divide the result by 2 we have our final answer as 4.829 and that's the end of solution to problem 1 we go to problem 2 use the trapezium rule with ordinate x equal to 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 and 3 find the approximate value of integral of x cube root 2x plus 1 dx from 0 0.5 to 3 again we create the table of values um, here we are not going for the expanded uh, table of values this time around that's to say you can also use your calculator to simplify instead of going that expanded table of values as in problem one so we have our x row here and the ordinates are 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 and 3 then we have our f of x here so what we do here is we substitute x is 0 0.5 in this function that's 0 0.5 cube root 2 times 0 0.5 plus 1 if you press your calculator you have it as 0 0.1768 and the same thing when you substitute in x is equal to 1 we have it as 1.732 also substituting x is 1.5 we have it as 6.75 substituting x is equal to 2 we have the result as 17.89 substituting x is 2.5 here we have it as 38.27 and finally substituting x is equal to 3 we have it as 71.44 then we go ahead to evaluate and our formula is h over 2 into f of x1 plus f of xn and so on now again we need to find the value of h here so our h will be equal to x2 this is our x2 here that is 1 minus x1 that's minus 0 0.5 which gives 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.5 divided by 2 in our substitution gives 1 over 4 into f of x1 is 0 0.178 and f of xn is 71.44 so we substitute 0 0.1768 plus 71.44 plus 2 these two in bracket x2 to xn minus 1 we have them here that's 1.732 plus 6.75 plus 17.89 plus 38.27 now simplifying we have 1 over 4 adding this that's 71.6168 and adding this then multiply the sum by 2 we have 129.282 if we add this and divide the sum by 4 we have our final answer to be 50.2252 and that's the end of solution to problem 2 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you do please like and share this video remember to subscribe to our youtube channel Uninab resources you can also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to other videos on applications of integral calculus until i come your way again goodbye